so uh, welcome back to the channel uh, this morning I am just going out onto the Blessington Lakes just to try and fish from the kayak and see how that goes um, it's coming up to 7 in the morning the moon is there and the sun is rising behind me so uh, today is just to see how I get on on the kayak and see what it's like to try and fish from it so uh, we'll see how that goes <laughs> So guys, I like to keep things really simple when I'm fishing. Um, the sun is coming up over there, so I want to be on the water uh, when the sun comes up. Um, so just to show you what I have for fishing, what I just want to show you is just the way I'm going to set up my line. I've got this spinner, um, it's called a Toby. What I'm going to do is just put on this trace. So I've got a wire trace and this is like 40 pound strain, which is good and it's bad. If I had a light leader, the leader would snap off before my line would snap my main line if uh, if I got snagged but um, I don't have any light leader so I'm just going to do a typical fisherman's knot okay, so that is literally all 16 grams and then um, I'm just going to give it a bit of a cast here my rod is a really light rod it's actually my daughter's rod um, I gave it to her a few years ago <clears throat> and um, it's really light so I'm hoping if I catch something decent that um, oh yeah that's a good cast on that I'm hoping that if I catch something decent um, it should feel nice and heavy on this light tackle looks okay yeah so that's how simple that I'm going to keep it guys and um, on the rod here on the rod holder, um, I just pop the rod in here like this and put the butt of the rod here on this little um, cap that goes over the, the rod holder and here I've got like a you know kind of a bungee cord that's set up to the back of the seat here on the kayak and this literally just clips around the rod like this if I can get the click on there and it's, it's fairly tight so it holds the rod up like that for me in a stationary position um, I've got my, my gas stove thing here uh, for lighting a fire later if if, um, if I don't want to actually light a fire I have this anyway um, I, I have that empty space in the back of the kayak anyway so I'm going to take that with me um, I'm going to put the GoPro on here and then I've just got my, my spinners and my fishing tackle here so I'm going to keep everything nice and simple yeah, so I'm going to get going now. It's actually a bit chilly this morning. But the sun is coming up and it's supposed to be a good day, so... I can't wait. Look at it out there. It's absolutely gorgeous. Up in the front of the kayak, I've loads of space here. To put all my gear. And this is my food for today. This is something really simple and a frying pan. So, get things real simple today. Let's go in there like that. And I have my cup of tea here, so I have a nice handy little tea holder there. So uh, yeah, pop this on and off we go. Sun is going up, or uh, coming up. You see it over there? Looks amazing. Okay, it's my first time on the lake. Uh, my first time on the lake, so I'm a small bit nervous. I won't lie. Um, I respect the water. I've been around it all my life, but I do respect the water. I'm going to just turn around so I can actually see that sunrise.
Okay, so I'm gonna go that way. Towards the moon. Here. I'm just trying to get a feel for it. Um, just to get a feel for casting on the water. And I'll tell you what, it's absolutely gorgeous here. We plan in a few months in the summertime when the when the weather is a little bit warmer and a bit better. Um, I'm planning on going fishing in the sea on the kayak. That's the long term plan because what I want to do is I want to actually start catching fish that I can eat and bring home for dinner. That's the plan. That'll be great fun. And uh, food is so bloody expensive. And at least if I catch fish, my own fish, to eat for dinner, um, I know where it came from and I know it's fresh and all of that. The thing I'm worried about in this kayak right now is the spinner that I have on, or the lure, or whatever you want to call it, is quite big, so there's quite a good chance that I would catch a big pike on this. And if I catch a big pike in this kayak, I'll have to be very careful trying to get it up onto the kayak to, to unhook it. So that'll be a bit of fun. I did have a plan today um, to go to a different place and I was going to go up the River Liffey as well but um, around the Blessing of the Lake at the moment the ESB have um, they've put so many fences up all the way around the lake that it's, it's very difficult to get close to the, to the water um, but yeah so the ESB have made it very difficult to get down to the lake in, in a lot of places and um, very difficult to park there's not a lot of places where you can park and um, launch the kayak so today I ended up having to come to a place um, that I wasn't really planning on going to but sure look we're here now and we'll have fun it's just such a simple way of getting out on the water and the thing with the kayak is you can kind of go anywhere in it so like I mean for me to walk all that way along there that would be pretty enjoyable but to get to the other side and all the little nooks and crannies there's a lot of parts of the water um, that are not reachable by foot. So to be able to uh, go out in the kayak is, uh, you just gives you such freedom. I just want to get a, a kind of an inlet, and I think there might be one over there, just where there would be a little bit of shelter from the from the the breeze. Because uh, I'm going to light a fire and all that kind of thing. Actually, getting a little bit hungry now. So, guys, I just wanted to record this part. Um, I don't know a lot about kayaks. You know, this is the first one I've ever had. I only have it a few weeks, really. Um, but the the water is quite choppy in the lake here, right? And um, I'm paddling away, and I'm getting through it. No water. I'm going again. I'm going against the the breeze. So I'm going over all the, the little waves, I suppose, or ripples, whatever you want to call them. Um, but the, the thing about the kayak is. This one's actually quite a big kayak, it's uh, 13 and a half foot long and it weighs 35 kilos. 
So 35 kilos probably doesn't sound too heavy, but I'm 70 kilos, so it's actually exactly half my weight. It's quite difficult for me to um, to move this kayak um, and lift it and move it around. It's quite awkward. But the, the reason why I got the bigger and the heavier one is literally because um, I knew it would be safer on the water. Uh, so as you can see, the, the breeze is drifting me all the way around there. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, so just if you're going to get a kayak for the water, um, I'm going to be going out on the sea in this one. So that's the reason I got the 13 and a half foot long one. And uh, she's quite heavy as well. So it's, it's nice and stable on this water. And this is the first time I've been out on choppy water like this. Um, and it's literally going through there like a breeze. So that's all I'll say to you. Like, I mean, there's a lot of small kayaks out there. My daughter has a 10 foot kayak. Now, I would never take her out here, absolutely not, not until she's a bit older, she's only nine, so when she's a little bit more independent, I'll be able to take her out here. But, um, yeah, so just if you're going to consider getting one, I, I would go and get a, a large one, maybe 12 foot, at least a 12 foot kayak, um, something with a little bit of weight in it. Um, so, it's really comfortable out here, I, I didn't realise it was going to be this nice, even when it was choppy, so I have no problem with it. Yeah, so that's where I'm going. There's a bit of a shadow over there. So I'm kind of thinking that must be an inlet over there. So I'm making my way there. an inlet but it's something it's something that's kind of nice there oh, yeah I'll take that right, so I'm gonna beach myself so I go in it again I'm not a kayak expert at all but um from what I've learned is you go in sideways and beach yourself so you can step out of the kayak without falling so beautiful here eh? This is where I am on this beach here. It's really nice. So I'm gonna take a little bit of a break and uh, change my fishing tackle and cast out with a with a float and maybe like a worm or something like that on it. Let's see how it goes. So guys, I haven't travelled much of distance at all really. Well, no, I kind of have. I don't know, I've probably gone like two miles or something like that maybe. I don't know if that's a lot in kayaking terms. <laughs> probably not. I've only been on the water for like, what, two hours. But, um, I want to just sit in here, have a bit of a break. Enjoy what I can see, instead of, you know, rowing around the place for no real purpose. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change the uh, fishing tackle. I'm going to put on a float with some um, with some live bait. Like I said, just enjoy the scenery and light a fire and have some food. These new traces that they have made are just such a pain in the arse. Just ridiculous design. So guys, all I've got is just like a, a normal uh, float, and then about 16 or 18 inches down, I've got the weights <clears throat> to bring the bait down, and then I've got the bait, of course, below that. Okay, so I'm just going to find all the bits for a fire now. We just need a little bit of tinder and kindling. So I saw some tinder up here earlier, which is really good. So... It's literally a lichen moss. 
This is it. Um, some people call it old man's beard, I believe. Uh, it's really, really fine. And uh, this should really like really, really well. So that's, I'm gonna gather up a whole ton of this stuff and uh, light a fire with this then. So that's what I'm gonna do. It's really super dry. A pile of this would be great. Actually, that branch is totally broken down and dead, so I'm gonna take the whole thing. So nothing has gone to plan yet today anyway. No fish. No fish yet. And um, I was in a, a lovely spot back there, set up ready to light a fire and all of that. And um, it was just a really busy part of the walkway. It's a, the green area for Blessington and a lot of people were walking there and I just, I didn't really think of that. So I had to move somewhere else. And it's a little bit windy and it's just not as nice. But look, I'm really hungry, so I need to just get some food on. So, I'm gonna light a fire. Using the uh, old man, old man's beard, people call it, or the lichen. So I'm gonna try and get a fire going now with that. And uh, using the, the ferrochium rod and the striker. So we'll see how this goes. <coughs> took off really quickly. Ah, that stuff is really, really dry. This is super for lighting. First time I've used it, really in the wild. But um, yeah, that's really good and we've a really nice breeze there as well. So this fire will be going in no time. I'm just so hungry. So hopefully we'll catch a fish before the day is out. I'm not too hopeful. I'm just not feeling very confident about the fishing today. Guys, like I said, nothing's really gone my way today so far, but such is life. So with the, the kayak parked up, um, I have the fishing rod out as well. So if we catch a fish today, all well and good, we'll call that lunch. But for the moment, sure, I'm going to have breakfast. I use rapeseed oil. Uh, so I'm going to just have some bacon and eggs, that's really pretty much it. Smoky bacon though. The pan is so small I can only get three pieces of bacon in there. But we can always go again. I'm going to fling an egg in there as well. So I've set up with a new lure, this one here. I've caught a few fish on this one. Uh, I'm hoping that this lure is gonna save the day. Um, fingers crossed. Very important to put on the safety. Albeit, a buoyancy aid. One more go with the fishing. And then it's home time. along here 
and just hope for the best. And uh, yeah, sure, the objective of today was really just to get out on the lake in a kayak and uh, see how it handled out there and what it felt like. And I, I covered quite a few miles, so I'm happy with that. And, uh, and hopefully next time I catch a fish and I'll do another video. Um, sure, look. Thanks a million for watching the video, guys. If you found anything nice or interesting on that, give it a thumbs up and um, subscribe to the channel. Cheers, guys. Thank you. These new traces that they have made are just such a pain in the earth. It's a ridiculous design. God damn it.